The content and the format has been optimized for television viewing. The gameplays and the episodes are available on usports.in, MTV, Voot, YouTube, YouTube Gaming and Twitch. India's first multi gaming, multi platform esports championship. Six teams of 14 players each compete across four games Counter Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, Tekken 7, and Real Cricket 17. Each team faces the other team twice in the league stage, and three points each are awarded to the winning team of Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17 in each match. Five points each are awarded to the winning teams of Dota 2 and CSGO games in a match. The top four teams in the league stage move to the knockout rounds. U Cypher, six teams, 84 cyber athletes and a grand prize pool of 51 lakh rupees. Worshippers of the keyboard, mouse and controller, my name is Aisha and you are watching You Cypher, new sport, new superstars. If you are also wondering who this great man is that introduced us to the world of computer games, the man we've got to thank is the late Ralph Bayer, also known as the father of video gaming. A man with a wild imagination and the science to back it up. But up next is the face-off between the shaders and the marksmen. Wait, wait, wait. Before we start, let's have a look at the leaderboard. बहुत होगी बातें अब टाइम है गेमिंग का कैप्टन आपकी टीम बहुत एक्साइटेड दिखाई दे रही है हाँ कोई कोई रीजन रीजन बस एक ही है मार्क्समैन का कैप्टन पुराना रिवेंज है थोड़ा आज ही साफ चुकता करूँगा राइवलरी राइवलरी अच्छा आप पहला गेम आपका टाइम हुआ था हाँ सेकंड गेम आप Three one जीते थे. Is today the day for a clean sweep? Ninety nine point nine percent whitewash. Wow, wow. And अगर मैं CS को की बात करूँ तो you were missing out on one player. Yes. And Falcon is back. Yeah, finally. So how do you feel about that? Falcon basically our team का backbone था. He was the MVP. MVP में से मैंने उसको select किया है. तो उसको बहुत miss कर रहा था. और आज के दिन मुझे वो चाहिए ही था. क्योंकि अंकित उसको जीतता हुआ मैंने देख सकता बस. Oh wow. Venom, how is it looking like to be leading the most powerful team of you Cypher so far? It's good looking and I'm proud that we are in the leader board. But I told my boys that we have to focus on focus until the time we lift that trophy. Wow, so no respite from your captain, huh? What have you heard about the Shadil's game? I don't really care about what oh. they say and you know what they feel. I know that I'm going to win the game that I'm playing. Is there anything that you want to say to Ritz? The only thing that I want to say is be prepared because we are coming for you and don't take us lightly because the previous teams did and they suffered the wrath of Marksman. Bachke Rehna share this. Good stuff, Marksman. I am loving the school confidence that the Marksman have. Clearly, they were epic in their last game. If you guys remember, they're at the top of the leaderboard. This game is going to be nothing short of legendary. Let's go straight into our first game. Mike, I'm not going to talk about the match day today. Because today's competition and face-off is very interesting. It's like the Ashes because you have Sherdils vs. Marksman. So it's Ritz vs. Venom. They don't want to kill each other. And they're playing for respect more than points, I would say, out here today. Forget respect, Amar. They're playing for bragging rights. Their rivalry goes back years. We've played with them. We've seen what they are capable of. Right. Oh my God, but that's not the only rivalry today. Don't forget the Khan brothers from Dota 2. Oh yes. They are going up against each other. Mama Sita from the Shadils, Mage from the Marksman. Mage from the Marksman has been the MVP for two games straight. So let's see if Marksman can increase their lead or will Shadils stop them today. Let's go. It's time to pick up your Sony PS4 controller to beat the hell out of your enemies because it's time for Tekken 7. Why don't you catch up on the rules? Players 
अपने कैरेक्टर सिलेक्ट करेंगे हर राउंड में जिसका एच खत्म हो जाएगा वो राउंड हार जाएगा हर मैच एक रेस है तीन राउंड्स जीतने की और जो प्लेयर पहले तीन मैचेस जीतेगा वो बनेगा टेक इन सेवन का विनर हंस फ्रॉम शेर दिल अभी तक चैंपियनशिप में आप सबसे डेडली टेक इन सेवन प्लेयर रहे हैं आज की प्रोडिक्शन क्या है इट शुड बी अ क्लीन स्वीप अगेन ओ माय गॉड आज कौन सा फाइटर लेने वाले आज फैंग 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 आप हर बार एक अलग कैरेक्टर लेते हो क्यों ताकि नेक्स्ट तो जिसके साथ भी मेरा मैच पड़े वो थोड़ा डर के रहे कि मैं क्या ले लेने वाला हूँ चेकमेट को यार रेकमेट करवा दे बस ऑल द बेस्ट कैप्टन ऑल द बेस्ट हंस थैंक्स मैन दिखा दो यार कि कौन पाप है टेकिंग का कमोन also known as checkmate this is your third round you've been using law right previously yeah. today what are you going to use it depends on the i mean he plays a lot of characters mm -hmm. to dekhte hain kya hota hai i feel like checkmate has found his tucker ka player now finally what do you have to say about that venom i know acha player hai lekin unbeatable nahi hai so wow anything can happen good luck guys good luck Hello and welcome back to the U Cipher League. Now it's time for Tekken 7 between the Marksman and the Shadows. Fight. Hans has picked up Feng and Devraj has picked Dragonov. Quite amazing move at the start of this game and Feng putting some pressure. Dragnov with a nice come back into the game he breaks the joint of Feng that's going to hurt a lot. Well amazing moves from Feng as well. Dragnov does have the rage out to work with but he is not going to give him much time to use it and that's a knockout. Wow. It's time for round number 2. Feng with the nice punch to Dragnov. Dragnov blocking it well. But now Dragnov with a nice come back breaks the arm and he's going to knock out Hans. Round three. Fight. A good trade off at the start of this round, and Dragon with a nice moves over here break the joints again of Feng. But Feng coming back into the game with amazing moves as well. Look at that windmill move from Feng, but now the rage art comes from Dragon, and it's gonna connect, and that's gonna give a huge damage to Feng. But he is still gonna live because both of them now on same HP. And Ragnarok is gonna get knocked out. Round four. Fight. Nice low kick from Feng to Ragnarok. He is 50 percent low already, and looks like he is just like standing, not doing any moves. Like miss clicks from him, he has the rage out, but it's still not of any use as he is gonna get knocked out. Okay, this is in match number one of best of five, three one. Round one. Match number two begins with Dragnov's nice uppercut, and now he is going low on HP. But with the arm breaker move, he comes back into the game, and he is giving huge damage to Feng. Feng does have the rage art, and Dragnov as well, who is gonna execute it on time. And let's see, it's Dragnov, and this is surely gonna be a knockout for Hans. Round two. Fight. A good start with the arm shield from Feng, and now Dragnov that arm breaker to him. He is known as he has the rage up on Dragnov, but that move is also gonna bring Feng on rage up. But that is gonna connect, and again it's gonna be a knockout for Hans. So two straight rounds in a row for Dragnov. Round three. Feng is doing a little bit of damage and not giving any chance to Dragnov this round. He is putting so much pressure on him. He is going low on HP with a windmill move, and it's going to be a knockout. So finally, Feng making a comeback in the game. 
it's time for round number four and both of the players missing this early move in the game but it's still fine now it's gonna be fair he is on rage art but will he get the time to execute it looks like he is not gonna get that time as dragnov is gonna shut him down marks when winning match number two three one looks like the game is gonna get intense because hans has picked up his favorite character round one a good up a cut from Dragunov and that comeback from King looks like this character change is working for him. It looks like it's not for long as the joint breaks. He is low on edge. He has a rage at oh nice reversal from him. But it's still not gonna help him out because it's gonna be a knockout. Round two. It's a pretty interesting fight between these two veterans. And now look at King, he is so angry on Ragnarok for the previous round. Not even a single chance given to him. That was so close to perfect. Round, round number three of match number three. This is amazing match between these two players. And it's fun to watch as well. Dragunov is giving so much damage to King. King is low on HP, but with a good comeback into the game. Now with the uppercut suplex to Dragunov. Dragunov missing the rage drive on King. King is low on HP and that's a knockout. Fight. Aggressive move from King at the early stage of this round. Not giving a single chance to Dragunov. And the jawbreaker is gonna get him low on HP. A low drop kick as well. And finally it's gonna be a knockout. Final round. This is the last round of match number three. Both of them on equal score. So now Dragunov is gonna give a knee breaker to King. And King as well with a jaw breaker to Dragunov. Both of them now maintaining the distance between them. A, a nice move from Dragunov. King is low on HP. He does have the rage art and Dragunov going low as well. And King misses that rage drive on Dragunov. Could be a mistake from him but still he is going to show us a comeback in the game with knocking out Dragunov. Chedils win match number three, three, two. Tournament seven. King. Round one. Round Fight. one of match number four. Interesting game. And nice hits from King as well. Those uppercuts were really good. And he's still continuing to give it to Dragunov and that shoulder tackle from him as well. And that hammer, he is stuck into the corner. And that side step from Dragunov is now gonna punish him. And but Dragunov is low on HP and there's a knockout coming in for him. Round two. Dragunov with a nice low hit but that is not like enough damage for King. And that slam to the ground to Dragunov by King. King going for a shoulder tackle but that was blocked from Dragunov. And now it's gonna be King. He is gonna give so much. He, he went for a suplex, but that was blocked. Now Dragunov stuck into the corners, and it's a knockout. Well, this could be the last round if Hans wins this. And now, like Dragunov is coming back into the game, not giving a single chance to King to give him some damage like he is now playing a little bit passive compared to what he was playing earlier now king stuck into the corners has the rage art but not even a single chance given to execute it the game is getting more intense by round by round and now king with that slam to dragnov on the ground 40 percent already lost on dragnov's hp and he is now stuck into the corner and the throw to the wall again and the low drop kick from king he ends the game with a perfect ladies and gentlemen your winners the shadows Congratulations, your hat trick. Hai. You have never lost a Tekken game in your cipher. Thanks a lot. And I'll try that I won't win any more matches. Absolutely. Captain, I feel your team is under pressure hai because after this performance, ke baad, you guys have to win all the three games left. Yes, obvious. Ye marks wale ko yaar ek bad remark dekhi chhodna hai tournament mein.
कुछ कहना चाहोगे मेरे कैप्टन को शक्ल से ऐसा लगता है करेगा दूध पी गई बात ओ आई कैन स्मेल सम राइवलरी ओवर हियर बट यू हैव 3 गेम्स टू गो कांग्रेचुलेशंस लेट्स गो शेयर दिस नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर रियल क्रिकेट 17 बाय नॉटलिस मोबाइल ये एक बैटिंग ओनली मैच है हर प्लेयर एक ओवर फेस करेगा जिसमें उसे मैक्सिमम रन्स बनाने होंगे मैक्सिमम रन्स बनाने वाला प्लेयर मैच जीत जाएगा टाई होने पर दोनों प्लेयर्स एक सुपर ओवर खेलेंगे टू डिसाइड द विनर राइट नाउ आई एम हियर विद बोथ द कैप्टंस एंड यू हैव नो आईडिया आई कैन फील द हीट स्टैंडिंग हियर प्लीज मुझे मारना मत प्लीज प्लीज ये राइवलरी किस बात की हो रही है यार ये ये सालों से चलती आ रही है तो अभी तक चल रही है रिवाज है रुकना है इसका I don't want to stand here for long. उसके पहले मैं टॉस कर लेता हूँ कौन कॉल कर रहा है अंकित रेडी इट इज विल ओपन एंड चीज नाउ कंग्रेचुलेशन यू गॉट कंग्रेचुलेशन कैप्टन दिस राइवलरी इज टू इंटेंस फॉर मी टू हैंडल देखते क्या होता है Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Cypher League. This is Major Reen and now it's going to be real cricket 17. So let's see what happens in the game. It's going to be marksman versus the Sheridan. So on the marksman side it's going to be Thakur Roy to go for the bat first. So it's going to be the first ball and he hits it. Amazing shot that is actually going for a six. So a good bat coming in for the first ball. It's a six run. So this is the second one and he again hits it. looking like it just like a replay he has gone in again for a six this guy is going crazy with those balls and now the third ball he goes again what is he doing he is going for the third six somebody stop this guy this is going to be a pretty intense game if he makes more than 30 and what a shot this is this is going to be 22 runs for them as this ball goes for a four So big ball coming in for them, and what a ball that was directly out towards the bat and crosses the boundary. It's going for a six. What an amazing game! Chakne mein. This is gonna be the last ball, and yes, he is actually going for a six. What an amazing shot! 34 runs scored. So Sheridan's now need 35 runs to win this game. So now Shahid will see 35 runs to win this game. So it's gonna be like six balls, six sixes for him. It's gonna be Anup who's gonna bat for the Shahid. The first ball goes in and he has just like three bit towards the boundary, but it's not gonna go for a boundary. He is not gonna cross the mark. Definitely, it's not gonna be a victory for the Shahid. It's Kishan Jetman. Your winner is gonna be the marksman. Thakur Roy not only have you won your team the next 3 points but you have also broken the record for maximum runs on new side for you Isse pehle record tha 30 runs and you made 34 what is happening you just broke a record man that's intense Yeah I was like I could have done 36 missed out on that two runs yeah never yeah. happy you guys marksman congratulations it's three all as of now between the shazels and the marksman our multiplayer games are still left and these guys are clearly on a high good stuff guys ab hum khelne wale hain wo game jo sabke andar ke soldier ko jaga deti hai i'm talking about cs go by valve corporation इस गेम में दो टीम्स होती हैं, एक टेररिस्ट टीम और दूसरी काउंटर टेररिस्ट टीम ये एक टीम बेस्ड गेम है जो फाइव वर्सेस फाइव के फॉर्मेट में खेला जाएगा प्लेयर्स कौन सा मैप खेलेंगे ये एक बैनिंग प्रोसेस से तय होगा शुरुआत में दोनों टीम्स को 800 हंड्रेड की गेम करेंसी मिलती है द एम ऑफ द टेरिस्ट टीम इज टू प्लांट दॉम एंड सिक्योर इट और किल ऑल द काउंटर टेररिस्ट The aim of the counter-terrorist team is to either defuse the bomb or kill all the terrorists. 
इस मैच में 30 राउंड्स होंगे एंड द फर्स्ट टीम टू विन 16 राउंड्स इज द गेम विनर इन द केस ऑफ अ टाई द रिजल्ट विल बी डिसाइडेड विद अ बेस टू फोर विंस गो में बॉम्ब चाहे डिफ्यूज हो जाए बट द राइवलरी ऑफ आर कैप्टन इज कॉजिंग एन इंटेंस टर्म ऑयल इन द स्ट्रेटेजी रूम राइट नाउ देव बिन राइवल्स फॉर यर्स एंड देर बोथ सी एस गो प्रोफेशनल गेमर्स आई कॉन्ट वेट फाइंड आउट वैपन्स लेट्स हेट द स्ट्रेटेजी रूम टू फिगर आउट वट देर प्लान Congrats, bro. Well played. Yeah. Okay, guys. Baba आ गया और आज marksman है. चीर के फाड़ देना इसको. City side पे target अपना पहला target है at least 11 rounds. और हम लोग regroup करके situation के हिसाब से एक side hit करेंगे. Marksman है. दुश्मन है मेरा. मारना. मार. मार. ठीक है, guys. Yes. Hello, guys. उसने पिक करने दिया इस सीजन का सबसे डम्बेस्ट कैप्टन रहेगा उनका कैप्टन आई थिंक ए या मिड खेलेगा रोटेट करेगा स्लॉट्स खेलता है शॉट मैं शॉट गारंटी दूंगा नीतीश को टारगेट करने का दो राउंड उसको मारा वो अपने आप फॉल्किन का दिमाग खराब कर देगा अपने लिए साइड इजी हो जाएगी बाई चांस क्लोज होने लग गए राउंड्स अपन अग्रेशन दिखाएंगे अपन नहीं डरने वाले उन लोगों से It seems like Warren was right about the heat. These guys aren't even making eye contact. Venom, the marksman, haven't lost a single game of CS:GO yet. This is a crazy streak for you, Cipher, so far. Is something going to change now that you are battling your long life rival? No, nothing is going to change. Yeah, match. We will play as much confidently as we can, and the strategy we have decided, we will try to implement it. Ritz, these guys seem totally prepped. What is the plan? Finally, we have a Falcon. He's back. Yeah. Awesome. We are benching Velocity. Falcon obviously is the best option. Yeah. 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 Ye
Venom has already made an entry to the bomb site. He gets one easy frag, clearing slots from the map, and Freaky is gonna get one more frag over there. And now it's gonna be slow. It's just a tap over it. Erases one. Erases the second one off as well. What a shot coming in by this guy. He is really insane. Mark's been already with a three round lead on their side. They are now on full by Buster. Holding towards aim and gets one frag. It's gonna be rigged. उन लोग का एक स्मार्ट प्लेयर ऑलरेडी जो ए साइड पे खेलता है वो फोकलिफ्ट हमने जो स्मोक किया था उसके अंदर ही था वो उसकी वो मिस्टेक के लिए मैंने पनिश किया था रेड कैंडल के ऊपर चढ़ा मेरे को रेड से तो जो भी ऑपर है कुछ तो करता हुआ देखा मैंने उसको इजी के ले लिया और उसके साथ जो टीम था वो तो मरना ही था तो मेरे हाथों ही मर गया वो so it's going to be 5-0 and Falcon is playing aggressive towards the B lanes and he is going to pick Pawn easily. Meanwhile, Venom pushing towards mid and Slot is going to take him down. So amazing gameplay coming in from him. Breaks with a perfect angle. He gets down Ritz. Amazing shot by him and Slowen is going to take down Falcon. So one by one the players are going down and now it's a 3v3 situation. The situation is equalized for both of them. Well, Fire is not going to stop Slowen by planting the bomb. He is going for the C4 plant and he is getting a little bit of damage from the molly that is around him but that is not going to stop him. So he is now just getting back, gets one frag on Buster, Rick's low on SP but still oh, managed to pull one God. shot on slots and winning that round. 6-2 to do the current scoreline, Venom taking a perfect angle towards the headshot posey and yes, what a single tap bullet given to Falcon and he goes down well, Freaky coming as a backup from behind through the vents, he gets down one, he gets down two, he is playing tremendously well, well Venom is just holding down and he is not gonna make it easy for the CT to make this rotation, but at the end, he dies and Rich going for the C4 defuse again and Shadels managed to get more one round. Pawn taking the boost pose, he's going towards in and he gets one shot while Ritz also managing to shut down slow and while Ritz is just on fire right now getting those two easy frags. He's going for the third frag as well and yes, he does get the third frag. It's Buster who's gonna spray through the smoke and yes, he gets one frag. Ritz jumping from top, he gets one. What an amazing round coming in for the Shades. So ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be the first half of this game, 10 to 5 the current scoreline. And marksmen are leading with a huge lead of five rounds. So now let's see, it's gonna be a switch. And now who is gonna be the winner for this game? It's second half of this game and Venom with a nice single tap onto the head. The C4 goes down a very critical position for the C4. No three on five uh and we made a crossfire on the aim in. Like I hit एक को लोबिन को पिक करना चाहता लेकिन उसने आई थिंक थोड़ा हमारा मिसकम्युनिकेशन हो गया था उसने वो टाइम पे पिक नहीं किया तो उसने मुझे और लोबिन दोनों को मार दिया फिर आई थिंक राउंड वन वन हो गया था एंड वीर भद्रा ने आके फाइनली क्लच कर दिया हमारे फेवर में Thirty-five. The current score lines. It's gonna be Veer Bhadra playing aggressive with his op. That is unusual, and but he takes down slots. What an amazing shot by him! Well, Freaky pushing from the A mains. He gets down one more player. जैसे उसकी टीम A main की तरफ white box cross की मैंने side वाले को मारा. जैसे मैंने side वाले को मारा उसने बोला एक side पे है एक side पे है. And उन्होंने दो molotovs फेंके. एक court फेंका एक side फेंका. मैं बीच में था molotovs के. तो मुझे कुछ हुआ नहीं. And जैसे ही वो side पर था मैंने उसको मारा. उसके बाद राउंड वन ऑन वन हो गया और मुझे पता था कि वीर भद्र के पास ऑफ है तो मैंने उसको परफेक्ट इनको दे दिया कि वो फोकलिफ पे है अब इतनी से फोकलिफ से आप कहाँ भागेंगे ऑफ लेके वो टारगेट किया उसने और वो हेड शॉट मार दिया वीर भद्र विच इज अमेजिंग शॉट टू फॉल्किन विनिंग दिस राउंड now it's 15 to 5, the current scoreline. Shadows haven't won a single round after the switch. Freaky making an amazing entry to the bomb side, and Venom will go down the captain of the team of the marksmen. And Veerpada with an amazing shot over Falcon. Rich coming in from the truck, and he gets two easy frags over there. Finding the third frag as well. Three easy frags for Rich over there, but finally goes down by a player. So now a 1v2 situation. It's gonna be Rich versus Pawn and Veerpada. They are making an entry to the side, and it's finally Pawn is gonna shut down Rich and the marksmen. Marksmen are the winners. 16 to 5. The current scoreline stands here, and the marksmen are your winners. Five points for them. बोलने की बातें ना करें कि हम इनको ठोक देंगे, हम इसको हरा देंगे, इसको तो हार कर रहता है, ये तो ठोक कर रहता है, ये सब बचपन आए, ये बचपन आप साइड में रखें। जब आप हमें हराएंगे ना, उसके बाद हम आपकी बातें ये सुन लेंगे, उससे फिर तो हम सुनने वाले हैं नहीं। 
right from the word go, the marksmen were dominating. And towards the end, you won by a huge margin. Congratulations, Captain. Thank you. Sherdils, you guys haven't won a single game of CS abhi tak. What's going on here? Chemistry ban nahi rahi hai. Thodi baat sharam bhi aa rahi hai abhi. Bolne ke liye kuch bacha hi nahi hai abhi karke hi dikhana hai. In starting mein aapne kaha tha ki thokunga. My Falcon is back. सरप्राइज कर दिया टू बी ऑनेस्ट मैंने पहले ही बोला था डोंट टेक अ स्लाइटली बिकॉज राइवलरी तक ठीक है लेकिन आप जब ओवर वोट जाते हैं बकवास करते हैं तो फिर आपको जब ये झेलना पड़ता है तो आपको समझ में आता है ये मैंने आखरा मक्स के भी सेम चीज़ बोली थी उससे पहले मैंने यक्षास के लिए भी सेम चीज़ बोली थी आज शेरदिल्स को भी उनका आंसर मिल गया Three games down, one more game to go. The scores right now are marksmen at eight and shadeels at three. The shadeels are at three and the marksmen have eight points. हमारे gamers का दिमाग कुछ ठंडा हो चुका है, but the arena is still buzzing with energy. So without wasting a second of this electrifying energy, let's move into our last and most unpredictable game of the day: Dota 2 by Valve Corporation. Dota 2 में हर player अपने लिए एक hero select करेंगे. इस गेम में दो टीम्स कंपीट करेंगी इन अ फाइव वर्सेस फाइव फॉर्मेट हर हीरो के पास स्पेशल पावर्स और एबिलिटीज होती हैं। हर टीम का ऑब्जेक्टिव है अपने एंशंट्स को डिफेंड करना और अपने ओपोनेंट के सारे टावर्स को डिस्ट्रॉय कर देना जो टीम पहले एनिमी टीम के डिफेंस को तोड़कर उनके सारे टावर्स डिस्ट्रॉय कर देगी वो टीम जीतेगी Well, the time for planning is up, and we are about to move straight into the action. But before that, I want to ask you: Do these two look related to you? Well, that's because they are. हमारे साथ है मामा सीता, the IGL for Dota 2 from Team Sherdils, and this is his younger brother, Mage, who is a two-time MVP of Dota 2 from Team Marksman. Guys, is this normal for you to be playing against each other in such a high-pressure game? Yes, it is. It is. Do yes. you guys usually play against each other or together? Yes, sometimes we play together. Sometimes we play against each other. Is का मतलब है आपको इनकी strategies पता है और आपको इनका style पता है. Hmm. How is this working out for your team captains? Are they happy with this connection or are they scared? Well, the pressure is on for now. This man is leading for like five points, so pressure is on. I love the fact that now you're so focused on the game. कि रिश्ता का कोई मायने ही नहीं रखता. Mage, are you gonna go easy on your bro or what? Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So the map has changed, guys, and there's been an update to the game. Are you guys prepared for this, or has this been a complete googly? It was a pretty surprise. We thought the patch would hit a uh, one day later. So now we are completely. We don't know what's going on. What what are the strategies? Has this completely changed things? Sab kuch ulta ulta ho gaya. Ah, uh, heroes badal gaye. Mere best heroes jo main practice kiye the. Ha. Wo badal gaye. But we are confident in our gameplay. So not that scared, but pleasantly surprised. This should yeah. be more exciting for all of us who are watching. But good luck, brothers. Marksmen versus Shadows. You guys are enemies for today. This is going to be a tumultuous but also super cute game of Dota 2 as our brothers fight it out for their respective teams. The Shadows versus the Marksmen comes down to this. Gentlemen, welcome back to You Cipher Nasport. Nay, superstars. My name is Vivek. With me is Cloud X, and you're watching the mock. The cog should be a kill on the Zark. Are really being contested by the Shadows. The arrow, perfectly set up by the cog, should be a kill on the Zark. And Opa draws first blood. Itachi God, though, all he could do was stand and watch. Top lane Shadows going to work on Red. He's kind of isolated here, and he doesn't have too much to work with. The Blade Fury inside the cogs. That's his death with an ice bath, just for good measure. Disruption. Tag with the thunder strike will be okay. 
red here. I mean, I'm not sure he can get this kill all by himself. He needs to be a little careful, but he's got backup nearby. It is Pashu. Echo Slam committed. Kinetic Field as well. They've not yet done enough damage. Red is taking too much damage from the tower. He's gonna get the kill, but is he gonna be able to get away? Seems like he ends up surviving. Smoke gank, 12 minutes in. It's 3 to 2 in favor of the marksman right now. The smoke's been reduced. With Khan's running into them. The static storm thrown down. It's a complete win. They've got shared the low power on the side though. Opa's gonna be the first one to fall. The Dyer are in a bit of a dire situation themselves with the Horde committed. Mage is giving chase here. He's going in for disruption. Disruption's been chased down, but they're not locking down a target. Good silence coming out there from the Night Stalker. Controls the Juggernaut, who gets brought down before he can pop an army slash. Now Zark is trying to finish up what he started. They've already got two kills on their side. Marksman still chasing for disruption with Itachi God and Mage going for the long run down the bottom lane. They'll get the kill on disruption and end this fight. Yeah, couple of early key kills here for the marksman, but look at this top lane, the spectre out of position, caught with that blade fitting, will end up going down, but Red with the echo slam, looking to turn the fight around, Itachi God scores a kill, rival with the omni slash, will manage to pick the night stalker, but Zark is here and he's gonna get this kill, it's actually Red who ends up getting the last hit. Ready to run while disruption is okay with sacrificing his life, he pops a blade mail, holds him in the cogs and ends up sacrificing himself for the greater good. Marksmen just marching down the mid lane. They've got an 8,000 net worth advantage. They forced a couple of buybacks 45 minutes into the game. Zark just pounding away on the barracks. You got the macro pie just trying to deal with the creeps with the barracks. Having taken away this option, forcing the fight. Hook shots onto the Spectre, but there's a quick four star from the Viper, keeping Mage alive. Disruption. They've balanced the scales again though after taking the barracks and now they've gone in further with Red getting an Echo Slam off on a couple of heroes. They've found Rival on the back line. They're trying to finish him off but Zark is the one that's in trouble. He's going to be able to kite around and turns around for some more slows. A few more auto attacks. They get the kill. That's a die back on the Juggernaut. This could be the end of the game here. A 47 minute hook shot from Disruption is doing nothing but slowing him down. They get the tier 4 and Mage just doesn't give a damn. He's right clicking the throne at this point. Realizes that he's in over his head and has to turn around and run. Mage is getting chased down now. But he's standing his ground and fighting through. Look at the dispersion damage coming out here. Opa is low. Mama Sita's trying to fight his way through. They actually get the kill on disruption with just the dispersion on the radiance. Burn damage. Mama Sita drops as well. They don't even get the kill on the Spectre. The Echo Slam made with the double kill. It's a Yule's Throne committed on to Khans. He refreshes up, turns around with the Primal Roar, and the Omni Slash is there as well. They do get the kill on the Viper, and they also get the kill on Red Earth Shaker. It's a triple kill for Mage, though, who is just manning up again. Yeah, Marksman, I, I pretty much uh, really pushed the luck here. Mage in no man's land, but this is the Spectre after all. And this is the Spectre with a heart and a butterfly rival. I don't think he can man up versus the Spectre. Mage will take away his ages, gets that ultra kill, gets that kill onto the clockwork and seems to retreat for the time being. But Zark is coming in. They might just look to turn this around with the Spirit Whistle on Mage. They can try and bring down Rival here on the Juggernaut. Pop the Blade Fury, he's running back to his fountain. Marksman, all that lies between them and victory is the throne. And Zark, eyes on the prize, focusing the throne along with Mage. I mean, Khan just walks in the Beastmaster, but what's he hoping to accomplish? The GG well played his call, and Marksman finally closed the game with a 10,000 net worth advantage over the Crusaders. I have said this before, that on paper, Yaksha will be very strong, but as a team, Sherdil is a very strong team. And for me, it was very important that we have to kill Sherdil, and we have achieved it. One hit, it will not be hit against it. Marksman, I have to tell you that लास्ट हारे भाई समझ लो नेक्स्ट टाइम तो जितना इम्पॉसिबल ही है तुम लोग के लिए एंड दैट रैप्स अप दिस किलर डे ऑफ गेमिंग विद द मार्क्समैन एट 13 पॉइंट्स एंड द शेडल्स एट 3 कंग्रेट्यूलेशंस कैप्टन वेनम गुड स्टफ सो क्योरली मेज फ्रॉम योर डोटा टीम टोटली नेल्ड इट टुडे इन द गेम I believe his hero Spectre was super profitable to your team. What was going on? Tell me a little bit about what was happening. So I think Spectre uh, from Mage and Pashu also, they played really well and it was drafting from Pashu. Also the mid game calls from I think Siddhesh and uh, the end game of uh, Mage. They took us to victory. Ritz, this was the first time that we were playing the new Dota 2 update on you, Cypher. Did that have something to do with this? I'm not really sure, but uh, maybe it can be. Long way to go for you guys, yeah. but I have high hopes for you. And I hope all of this learning comes into play. Yeah? Congratulations Thank for you. being at the top of the leaderboard Thank with you. 39 points, Marksman. Good stuff. Thank you.
Three wins out of three. A 16-0 clean sweep in the previous encounter. 13-3 in this one versus the Shared Dills. Life is pretty good for the marksman, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's um, it's going well. I I think the only black spot like the has been me in this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You were up against Hans, so it's not going to be easy. But you did get a set off him, and I think that says something because from what we've seen of Hans, he's he's been dominant when it comes to Tekken, Devraj. So you can't give yourself too much flack there. Yeah, actually, it was a bit tricky because I got the set. He switched characters. Yeah. And then yeah, I was not prepared for the next character. Yeah. So yeah. But then when you switch to the rest of the games, it it was a really good performance again from the marksman because I think coming off that first loss to Hans, they really rallied together, and, and your your side is now sitting pretty at the top of the leaderboard, and and that must be a pretty good feeling. Hats off to my team. Yeah. Like, मतलब उन्होंने बहुत मेहनत किया इसमें. मुझे एक्चुअली लग रहा था कि वो demotivate हो जाएगा क्योंकि जो पहला मैच हमने खेला था. उसमें बैक टू बैक दो लॉस हुए थे हमने विन किया था इवेंचुअली जब भी टेकन जीतते एक वो आपको एक रैलिंग पॉइंट एक मोरल बूस्टर मिलता है सो इस बार वो नहीं था बट लकीली फॉर मी द टीम यू नो दिस दे केम टुगेदर दे मेड अप फॉर माय लॉस और वही हमारी टीम की फिलोसफी है कि अगर कोई एक वीक पॉइंट है तो बाकी हम लोग कवर अप कर ले Well, you're covering more than your weaknesses. You're coming together in one show of proper strength. The marksmen are sitting pretty at the top of the leaderboard, and they look very, very dominant. The overall leaderboard looks like this. If you want to catch the nuances of the epic victory of the marksmen today, head over to ucipher.in where you can catch the entire gameplay. Tomorrow, the Yakshas take on the Crusaders on Ucipher, Naya Sport, Naya Superstars, a U Sports initiative. My name is Aisha. And I'm Varun. Do, Do you cipher? cipher.